So good afternoon everyone. I am sure that you might have already watched the online segment of our event which is going on today on 12th of March here in Newtown uh, in our Auraplex Literoma studio. So the idea is that uh, after the online segment that we did in the morning, we have some of the authors, some of the winners of top 10 authors here with us physically present and we are absolutely delighted to introduce to all of you author Sriparna Shen, who is here with us, who is the winner for the category non-fiction. So congratulations Sriparna so on much. winning this award. Uh, now I will be putting the spotlight on you and I would like you to introduce you to all the audience of our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you Litroma for this award. I mean it was really unbelievable. Uh, non-fiction is not exactly my forte. I usually write fiction. This was my first attempt at non-fiction and then I turned it into a book and now it is winning awards. So obviously that's uh, more than letting to me. So uh, I am very glad that I could attend it physically because obviously the term of physically uh, talking and the human touch is, uh, it cannot be replaced by any virtual thing. So to introduce myself, I am Sriparna Shem. I am a banker. I am a computer engineer who has turned into a banker and now I am turning my passion of writing and uh, into the author journey. So I have been a part of various anthologies and uh, I have a single solo fiction book also with to my name and this is my second book Tilottam at a Glance, the non-fiction book, a book which I have written as a, uh, you can say it is my love story with this city the city of Kolkata and it is just, just justified that uh, I, I am getting this award sitting in the same city. So Tilotamata Glance is basically a journey of a traveller, you cannot say traveller, uh, of a resident maybe, uh, through the st uh, streets, nooks and corners of the city and it highlights the uh, quintessential, the uh, essential things which are not uh, always very imp important but which actually categorizes the city. So right. uh, this uh, book has always been a, uh, about uh, those uh, unique features of the city and uh, it has also my personal journey with the city and I hope uh, anybody who is reading it, I have got really good reviews about it and uh, it has made my writing journey worthwhile. and. Uh, Hence, I have proceeded towards uh, making it a book and uh, thankfully it is now uh, gaining uh, red reviews. Excellent. Awesome to know about it. Now, I just digress a bit. Since this particular event is happening, uh, celebrating the Women's Day, so I am I, I'm sure that Women's Day is actually supposed to be celebrated every day, but since it is particularly we are celebrating the 8th of March event which has happened and also it is tagged as IWD event of Literoma as well. Any message that you want to give from that standpoint? Because you are a writer, so you have the advantage of reaching out to many people. See, uh, as you say that every day should be Women's Day. This is one point which I always say that uh, the uh, actual uh, the actual celebration of Women's Day will be the day when it will be as insignificant as Men's Day. You know, it Excellent. comes and it goes yeah. and uh, Women's Day should be like that. So. Why, why do we celebrate Women's Day? First, uh, first of all, let us know that because uh, centuries and centuries of uh, rules and regulations which has been posed on the society by the patriarchal society uh, which has stopped women to grow equally with the men because obviously there, there is a biological difference between a man and a woman so that we cannot uh, separate. This is, uh, this, we cannot argue that. Okay, strength wise, biologically, they are different. Right. But apart from that biological difference, which the nature has already uh, put into it, apart from that, no other difference should happen. Because right. other than that, there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any uh, uh, misjudgment, there shouldn't be any assumption that a woman cannot do. Because a woman is doing everything. And it is very uh, unfortunate that uh, we have to like remind people to uh, this again and again. So, Women's Day, I believe that 
Women's Day should be a celebration of equality. It, it, it is very uh, it is very surprising, uh, even very educated, even very, you know the persons we uh, talk to each other every day, they also think the term feminist is something that is favoring the feminine gender. Mm. You know when I, uh, when I actually explain to them that feminist is about equality right. and they are like, uh, they are like odd. I mean, how can it be equality? It is about feminine. Uh, no, it is not. Feminist journey, the Women's Day, which has been a, uh, you, know, you know, it has been a Herculean task. The, there was a time uh, not very long ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, uh, the same women were not given the same right to vote, the same right to do job, the same right to go out of the house. Yes, I am not saying that everything has been uh, okayed now, but yes, we have got a voice now and we should use it as judiciously as possible because, That's pretty important, yeah. because not everyone is getting that voice so the voice which we have we should use it to voice for those who are not getting that place so this uh, uh, international women's day i would pledge to make it as insignificant as a men's day and <laughs> be uh, preach equality and you know but, Apart from biological change uh, differences, there shouldn't be any other differences between a man and a woman. So, excellently put. I think the best way to celebrate Women's Day is not by celebrating it. <laughs> so, very well put. So, before we wrap it up, I once again go back to the book for which you are winning this award. Any favorite segment from the book that you want to highlight it for our literal audience? Uh, so, uh, I have written the book, so it is a favorite of mine. Right. So right. it is very difficult. Right. Uh, it's hard, toil and sweat of mine. So uh, it is like choosing a favorite child. Right. But uh, it is always not possible. But still, I for me the the chapter which is uh, you know uh, which resembles me or which uh, I associate myself with a lot is in for death. Okay. You know, it's a unique <laughs> unique chapter because. Yeah. This is one chapter which the other uh, state people they have, been very, they, they have been very uh, interested they have been very curious to read right. about it. You know, L for luck. Obviously, D for Durga Puja. Huh. It, it, it is like uh, universal. It is universal for Kolkata. Everyone knows. Everyone, knows. Everyone associates both of them. Right. But L for land has been a uh, revelation for many, <laughs> and they didn't know what is land. When I said that uh, you can uh, keep it as a uh, you know shortcut of uh, short name of lethargy and uh, it is like uh, I, I always say uh, I always define lad as I want to do it but I again don't want to do it now so it is something like that you, you are uh, those unique things which is, uh, a Kolkata people if you have ever lived here you would uh, associate it with with much ease, but if you are away from Kolkata, uh, then uh, associating it with maybe a little difficult, and for that you have to read the book, and maybe you will know better. Absolutely, I'm sure that everyone will do that, and we're so glad that that lad did not prevent you from <laughs> writing this book. So congratulations <laughs> to you on winning the award, and thank you so much for being here with us uh, in person uh, to receive the award, and many more. Um, Congratulations and best wishes for your future endeavor as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.